Today, I'm going to talk to you about the new proposed Healthcare and Homeland Security Concentration, a Master of Science degree in the Department of Pharmacology and Toxicology, Boonshoff School of Medicine. Homeland Security is an American security term for the nation's effort to protect the country by minimizing damage and reducing the vulnerability of its people, technology, and infrastructure against both natural disasters and man-made events. The Department of Homeland Security has defined 16 critical infrastructure sectors so vital to the United States that their incapacitation or destruction would have a debilitating effect on our nation. The FBI formed InfraGuard to aid in the protection of the 16 infrastructure sectors, and members of InfraGuard stem from these sectors, law enforcement, and individuals involved in protected research at educational institutions. The healthcare and public health sector protects all sectors from hazards like terrorism, infectious disease outbreaks, and natural disasters. I want to point out that healthcare and homeland security is nothing new to the Department of Pharmacology and Toxicology. In the past 20 years, we've had several grants related to homeland security, specifically sarin nerve agent and the Gulf War illness. We were one of a few academic institutions with sarin nerve agent on the premises. And we've had 13 students that worked with our faculty to complete their thesis and dissertations on topics related to Homeland Security from 2007 to 2020. The next four slides give us a sampling of the publications from our faculty related to healthcare and Homeland Security. In this slide, I pulled information from Drs. Lou Cotton Cool's web pages that illustrate well the past research and current research happening right now in our department. Now, on to our proposed healthcare and homeland security degree. Our graduates will join the mission to create a secure and resilient nation by sharing with the communities their gained knowledge and experience. They will be working to prevent, protect against, mitigate, respond to, and recover from the threats and hazards that pose the greatest risk. This concentration would be good for learners with a BS, MS, MD, or PhDs wanting to be involved in healthcare and homeland security. I'll talk more about the benefits in a minute. On this slide, we have the program learning outcomes. I will not go through them with you today, but I invite you to review this presentation at your own pace later. More than half of the courses that make up this new proposed concentration are already available in our current MS programs. And you can see here we allow students some variability. They can take Intro to Cell Biology or Principles of Biokinetics Biodynamics. They can take Intro to Pharmacology or Cell Pharmacology Toxicology. They also have two journal clubs and the ChemBio Radnook Defense classes. That means receiving a Seaburn graduate certificate is built into the curriculum. There are two courses in development. The first one is a Healthcare and Homeland Security three or four credit hour course. We've not yet worked that out. And you can see here an excerpt from the syllabus and some of the lessons they must complete. The next course is a capstone and residency course that will take place one week at the VA Sim Center. And we've been working with the VA staff to create a five day, 40 hour schedule. The next course I wanna show you is a one credit hour journal club where our students will be educated in the craft of situational awareness. It is a professional certificate training program where they will be instructed, then complete a two hour test. And if they pass, they will receive their credentialing. See the example here. This may be a topic you're not familiar with. So I just wanna point out that this training is perfect for individuals working in healthcare or at educational institutions. And to drive this point home, I just wanna show you how in the last two weeks, we've had 21 events related to school shootings and bomb threats. Now let's talk about the electives. You can see in front of you 12 electives from nursing, political science, computer science, and public health. The students must choose a minimum of three courses from this list, and this allows them to personalize their degree. 
The first two courses are designed to prepare students for board certification as a national healthcare disaster professional. The public health courses generate another graduate certificate in public health emergency preparedness. And then of course we have the cyber classes because everyone should have some cyber training. That's it for the curriculum and I have a couple takeaways I want you to think about. Number one is should we offer a thesis option and if so what should that look like and secondly should we offer a Farm Talks Homeland Security certificate. The last thing I want to touch on before I end this presentation is the career opportunities in Homeland Security. In front of you I have the Department of Homeland Security's webpage where you can see several science positions. And this slide shares the positions available at the FBI. And here we have some job openings that are currently available from the Food and Drug Administration, Department of Air Force, EPA. And the last two slides are positions currently open for jobs related to Seaburn.